Mike, Sports, Vibes. Thank you for vibing with the bull. You already know the vibes. You know how we coming. You know what we doing. We talking about the Philadelphia 76ers. Bring back Kawhi. No, not back. We ain't never have him. Bring Kawhi Leonard, a.k.a. The Claw. To the Philadelphia 76ers, man. I know y'all probably like, nah, bruh, nah, bruh, nah. But I'm saying yes, bruh. We definitely need to, man. Because at the end of the day, are we trying to win a championship or not? I think that when he's healthy, debatably, when he's healthy, he's top five player every single year. He's healthy. The problem is he's never healthy. But let me break some things down. Let me talk my talk. As, as quick as possible. I don't want this video to be too long, but I got to talk my talk about this all-time great because Kawhi Leonard, you can say what you want about the brother. He's an all-time great. In 2014, he was with the Spurs. And he was the MVP in the finals with the Spurs in 2014. He played with Tim Duncan, one of the greatest power forwards of all time. He needs to get more credit because he is debatably the best power forward that ever played the the in the NBA. That's just my opinion. Debatably. Right? You got Tony Parker, Manu, Patty Mills, Dan Danny Green, Marco Bellinelli, uh, and uh, Tiago Splitter. There's just, just to name a few. They had a squad, man. They definitely had a squad. And then, of course, you got the all-time great pop as the uh, head coach. And he was the MVP with all that talent, man. Tim Duncan could have been the MVP. Tony Parker could have been the MVP. For the Raptors, he got he was the NBA in 2019. He was the MVP in 2019 NBA Finals. The only championship that the Toronto Raptors have, he brought it to the city. That's all I got to say about that. And he was the MVP. See, that's greatness right there. You know what I'm saying? And the one thing I like about Leonard is. When it's go time, when he has to stick the best player on the other team, see, stats don't tell it all. Like, I'm looking at his finals stats all time. is 20 points, 9 rebounds, and 2 two assists. Stats don't tell it all. He's sticking the best player on the other team, and he can get you a 30-piece nugget. He can get you a 40-piece nugget. He's an absolute baller. He can hit the mid-range. He can hit the 3. He can beat you off the dribble. He'll dunk on your face. And best believe his nickname is Claw for a reason. Because he's one of the best defensive players, in my opinion, in NBA history. Like, to be honest with you, he's, he's a freaking monster. They call him Claw for a reason. I'm going to get to that. But I just want to say, the stats don't tell it all. The stats don't tell it all. He'll stick LeBron James and shut LeBron James down. He'll stick D-Wade if he had to and shut D-Wade down. He'll stick any position besides probably a five, a true five. You know what I'm saying? But just to break some things down and tell you a little bit about him is seven all defensive team selection selection, right? He made he did that. That's that's what Leonard does. You know what I'm saying? One defensive player of the year, two years in 2015 and in 2016, straight up beast. And in 2021, he was named in the 75th anniversary team. So he's already being looked at as a top 75 player of all time. The guy is a freaking beast. He's a freaking winner. And he deserves more respect. Six foot seven, 225 pounds. He's only 32, 32 years old. But the problem is his health. That's a big issue. So y'all probably still saying nah. nah bro. After, after everything nah. I just said, y'all still saying nah. Nah, bro, on your lap. Nah, but at the end bro. of the day, nah. when healthy, who's better than him? When healthy, I know. When healthy, right? I understand. When healthy. I understand, but at the same time, I'd rather take that chance. And if we're going to trade James Harden, because this is more realistic than what you think, because at the end of the day, James Harden only wants to go to the Clippers, right? He only wants to go to the Clippers for some strange reason. And if we do trade him to the Clippers, I'm not trading him for Paul George, even though I love Paul George, but he's not better than Leonard when it comes to most. They're both always hurt, but if I had to choose one, I'm going to go with the Leonard because I know Leonard is a two-time champion. And the one thing about Leonard is he he's not scared at a moment. He's going to make the shot. When you need a basket, give it to Leonard. When you need someone to be stopped, go go to Leonard. Leonard's gonna stop. He's Claw. His name, his nickname is Claw for a reason, y'all. So, like I said, five time. He's a five time All Star.
five-time member of the All-NBA team, including three first-team selection. Like, the man is simply amazing when it comes to just uh, his mindset when it comes down to winning. So, not only he's going to shut the best player down, LeBron James, he's going to give it to you. He can give it to you on, on, on both sides when it comes to offensive the offensive side and the defensive side. He can get you 30, 40 points anytime. So let me know in the comments below what you think about Leonard. I like Leonard I, a lot. I really do. He just needs to stay healthy. And I think he'll put us over the top more than Paul George will put us over the top. If I had to choose between the two, if we're getting rid of James Harden, there's a possibility we can get one of these two. I'm taking Leonard all day. I understand the injury history, but his ceiling is way higher than Paul George's ceiling. His ceiling is way higher than any player you can possibly trade for right now. He's, his, ceiling, his ceiling is higher than um, Zach Levine. His ceiling is higher than even possibly Dame. When healthy, who are you choosing? Dame or Leonard? I'm choosing Leonard. I'm talking about far as the trade for right now. I'm choosing Leonard. But those are the big names you got. I'm hearing Paul George. I'm hearing Siakam. I'm hearing Zach Levine. I'm hearing Dane. The more realistic is Leonard because he wants to go to the Clippers. Because I, I wouldn't want to be a team but trade for James Harden. He doesn't even want to play because you know how he does. So, but yeah, leave in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Am I tripping on this, man? And yeah, man, like I don't think there's many players better than him right now. When No, when he's healthy. When he's healthy, who's better? Did you want to put a prime LeBron James better or a prime KD? Who else? Seth Curry? Um, maybe. Um, who else? Um, Devin Booker. I'm picking Leonard over over Booker when healthy. Who 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 who's actually better than him when healthy? That's the thing. That's why I say his ceiling is higher. I'm going for that. I'm going for a championship. Him with Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. Somehow, maybe we can get a facilitating point guard by trading Tobias Harris. We will win the championship in 2023. I truly believe it. Let's go, Sixers. And if you don't know, now you know. And uh, best believe, man, I was listening to. And the one thing about Leonard is that laugh. Y'all remember that laugh? It was kind of awkward, the laugh. But you know, I was thinking, I was listening to Jada Kiss this morning. You know how Jada Kiss be like, ha! Ha! You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you get a chance, listen to Jada Kiss, Top 5 Dead or Alive. That album is a classic, man. But uh, let me get straight to the point. Let me get straight to the point. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you vibing with me. If you're a Philadelphia 76 er fan, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's go Sixers. The offseason just began. And then guess what? We will be making a trade soon. I truly believe something is going to happen sooner than we think. Let's go Sixers. And I'm out.